one half of the Solo Rocks, along with my artistic partner, the great Matthew Sigourney. This has been the last two months of our lives. We've been working on a project at Art Park in Lewiston, New York. That is a 400 foot. By 400 foot. <laughs> and we're kind of painting in between the rows. Of, I'm sorry, in between where the cars park in the road, where cars would drive to get to the park. Um, with paint from Sherwin Williams. I have now, I think we're at about uh, $4,500, which is a crazy amount of uh, paint. The project is meant to be temporary. It'll last a few years. And um, in the 70s, of course, our park was known for wonderful temporary projects. So it's nice to be in that lineage. And uh, this is this kind of slowed down Time Warp video is the best way I could tell okay. people what we've been up to. The photographs don't do it justice. The short videos don't seem to do it justice. Drone footage doesn't seem to do it justice. Drone footage doesn't seem to do it justice um, because you can't see up close enough. That everything just looks like a little ant when you're up that high in the sky. Maybe a low-flying drone would be cool, but uh, we'll get to that. We're about eight or nine days away from our computer. Date. Um, the is really random and purposely so. Um, Matt and I all the improvise our murals together. Uh, Elizabeth Licata interviewed us for Buffalo Spree Magazine recently, and uh, she said uh, she kind of made sense of it. And, you know, t for us, she said, you, "You guys are like jazz musicians. You kind of riff off of each other." Uh, that's certainly true. Um, very, very much a reactionary uh, process. Something Matt will do will completely, you know, uh, spark my imagination and, and hopefully vice versa. And we're close enough after knowing each other for 25 years that we're comfortable, um, you know, telling each other when uh, something feels a little off. Comfortable, um, you know, telling each other when uh, something feels a little off. Maybe we should change this part. I'm not crazy about that. You know, let's, let's, we could do better there. So, another uh, segue here. All of this imagery that you're seeing is the product of our imaginations, but a lot of it is um, triggered by these wonderful Zoom meetings that we've had with the special needs community, um, people incorporated, and the Parkinson's community groups. <laughs> put together by the great Cynthia Pagato, who we were lucky to meet through this project. She works for our park in a, uh, uh, at a program called uh, Our Park Bridges. And um, she's basically giving a voice to the special needs community, in this case, kind of through our artwork. So uh, through these meetings, they've been feeding us ideas for imagery um, based on sometimes random like, uh, if you were a kitchen utensil, what would you be? Um, so, w way back, I guess three minutes ago in the video, you saw, maybe very quickly, uh, a mixer. <laughs> an enormous ladle, probably the world's largest painting of a ladle. I like that. Uh, somebody call Guinness for me, please. Uh, these little colored dots, well, we just saw the word the fly by in some colored dots, um, but it's going to say the, the Colossus. We've been referring to this project as the Solo Roths, which is the name that Matthew and I use when we work together in these murals. Uh, the Solo Roths versus the Red Hot Colossus Lot, the name that Matthew and I use when we work together in these murals. Uh, the Solo Roths versus the Red Hot Colossus Lot. Both of us have fairly pink light skin and uh, have really taken a beating by the sun during the uh, have also been working a lot at night. This is a rare daytime capture. Uh, these are Matthew's wonderful drawings of headgear. Um, I just love Matt's work. I'm, I'm lucky to be his friend and his fan and uh, to work alongside with him. And uh, he's got this great little section here in the parking lot of all this vintage headgear. It looks like it's from a catalog. And we have joked that this guy is the hat model, that guy that we just passed. And these are all his options for what he could wear other than that cowboy hat. We've had a wonderful volunteers. I think we're up to 50 
three different volunteers uh, right now from the Parkinson's community and Cynthia, uh, some other staff from our park, and um, just many, many friends, including some very young friends uh, now that Matt and I are getting older. Um, we've had some of our friends' kids uh, help out in the project and, and uh, great old buddies from art school and uh, just old friends and colleagues that have been really, really helpful along the way. Um, you know, one in particular is my great old student, uh, Nate Riley, one of my uh, all-time best students. Uh, he's, he's been there, I think, more than anybody else, seven or eight nights now. So, uh, so this is a section of mats. Um, we've been kind of working together, but still, which is rare for us. Normally, we both work on uh, each other's work. So, if he paints a section, we're kind of working together, but separately, so, which is rare for us. Normally, we both work on uh, each other's work. So, if he paints a section, I'll kind of embellish it, and then he'll come back in and continue. But I think the scope of this project just led us to to kind of work uh, a little separately, um, you know, still together, still like-minded, but a little bit like this is Matt's piece, this is my piece. I guess, you know, being a huge music uh, guy, a little bit like uh, maybe John and Paul in the older, in the uh, later Beatle days, where they, they didn't collaborate quite as much. We're still on the same page, and this project is ours together, but there's a lot of sections that are either mine or his in this particular mural. At least uh, this far, we still have about eight or nine days to go, um, and that would be a really nice way to finish up. We're going to be working the next eight or nine days straight, so that would be a really nice way to finish up, is to kind of uh, work a little bit on top of each other's uh, work so far, you know, the, the, the things that we've already finished. All right, let me try that again. Not the things we already finished, the things that have so far been one person's uh, work, either Matt's or mine. It would be great to, to kind of cross-pollinate there. And now we've reached our first row, and you can maybe notice that this is, this is the row where we started two months ago, and we were a little afraid of how long the paint would last us. So and we were a little afraid of how long the paint would last us, so there's a lot more linear work, a lot more line work, less huge forms, uh, and actually something that encouraged us to work a little bit larger was an early drone shot that one of the board members passed along. And, uh, you know, such a, a huge amount of space. We, we thought we were kind of, you know, filling it in nicely until we saw that drone shot and, and just kind of felt like, wow, that's really minuscule from so high above. So maybe we'll do some more, uh, a little bit larger work. Um, but still, we have, like I say, uh, eight, nine days left to go. And a lot of this earlier work it, we're going to make a second pass on. We always do multiple passes as we work. Um, we don't work, uh, you know, I don't know what you would say, left or right or anything like that. We kind of keep on going back and forth and back and forth, and a lot of layering is important to us. Okay, so that's the almost final preview. <laughs> 